Okay, so I'm going to talk you through now um, using Turnitin Draft Coach. Um, you can use this where a college or institution or university has paid for or subscribed students to um, Turnitin Draft Coach. And I, from my experimentation or from everything I've read, it's only available in the online version of Word. So I'm signed in here to my office or Microsoft as they want to go by now, 365 account. I can double check to make sure if you have a few of those accounts, which I do um, between my school and college or organization and things on my personal one, um, you make sure you're signed into your one um, attached to your institution. So I'm here at atu.ie. So that's my Atlantic Technological University account. That's the one that has a license for Turnitin Draft Coach. So I need to be logged into that and make sure you are. So I am. I have an essay here that I want to open up and I want to use a little bit of Turnitin Draft Coach with. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Click into it. Your app launcher is here as well. You can look for files in your OneDrive or you could go directly into Word there and look for some of your recent lots of ways. So I have it opened here in Word Online. So I'm in the online version. I know I am because look, I can see up here where you can put in URLs and things. So here's my assignment. And if I edit online, you'll see there's no save button because it should be automatically saving as you go. Now you might notice here, look at all my colors here, what's happening, why, because I have been using the Turnitin Draft Coach. So up along here on my ribbon, you might notice that or on my toolbar, I have Turnitin. If you don't see that, you need to go into the search bar and you need to type in turn, all one word, turn it in. And it should give you an option to put in the add in called turn it in draft coach. So you click on that turn it in draft coach and it will pop on the add in for you. So then when you click on that, you will see like I have, I have turn it in there. Now I will point out now every time I go to word online, the turn it in is there on the toolbar in the ribbon. It's there all the time. At the first one or two times I came in, I had to go through the point of searching for it and adding it in again. So it's a little, a little bit inconsistent I found. So I click on turn it in and I have one option here now in the ribbon, just draft coach. So I'm going to click on draft coach. So here you can see in draft coach, I have details for what I can do. I can do a similarity check, a citations check and grammar checks. So look at from everything I've looked up and researched and spoken with people, it's quite blunt. Um, but it still is useful. So I'm on the citations tab here in Turnitin and Draft Coach, and you can see here that it's identifying issues with some of my citations and referencing. So for example, it's noting here maybe that there's a reference that I cannot find a citation for. There it thinks there's a reference with no citation. And if I click on that, for example, it will bring me to exactly that particular piece of writing that it's having trouble with. Um, I have found at times that I have, for example, the citation in and the reference, but for some reason, turn it in draft coach isn't recognizing it, but at least it's bringing my attention to it. It actually has brought me to other citations where actually references maybe that I made where I'd actually removed the citation in the text and I forgot to remove that reference uh, in the reference list. So that was good. It really alerted me to that. And sometimes maybe where I'd written um, DES an acronym and I'd reference something or cited it as Department of Education it had trouble there and it just brought my attention to all of that. So you can click on any of those and it'll bring you to exactly where um, that piece of text is that it ha it's saying the citation or the reference is incorrect. So that's handy, it is useful and then you can look at all your references if you want throughout just to scan them. So that is quite a useful one to use. Um, the grammar part is blunt enough but look useful again when it loads there it'll tell you maybe about fragments or long sentences and you can click and it'll bring you to where there's some problems with those so it might just take a moment to load but that's the sort of idea of what it's doing your similarity checks you can run um, three similarity checks on any particular one of these and the score might come up quite high at times but um, remember that this may not be as sophisticated or may not be have settings on it that turn it in um, uh, through Moodle or whatever your institution is using because your college lecturer or um, whoever's over that particular assignment can set, have settings on um, turn it in when you turn in an assignment to ignore a reference list or ignore certain things. So although maybe I was getting 31% here when I actually turned this paper in um, 
through Moodle on Turnitin, it had a way lower, like less than half of that came up as a um, score from Turnitin. So they say it's much more blunt and much cruder, um, but it's still useful. It really helps you maybe think about things or have a, have a look through things. So you have your similarity, your citations and your grammar. So yeah, that's handy one. There is a website um, around Turnitin Gra Draft Coach, so you can, um, you can use that. So if you click on the details tab here, it says learn more about Turnitin Draft Coach. If you click on that, it brings you to a website that will teach you all about Turnitin Draft Coach. So yeah, I hope that's useful. I hope this is something you can use. And remember, you have to use your Word Online version. OK, um, so if anyone needs a hand at Word Online, you can let me know. Um, but I'm sure you kind of figured, figured that out.